Hello, my name's Kate from Cheshire East Libraries and I'd like to tell you about a book I love. My book today is Harvest and it's by Georgina Harding. It's a book that I read a few months ago uh, in a reading group, one of the reading groups we have here in Bonington Library. And I'll be quite honest with you, there were a few people in the group who thought it was a really dreary novel um, drab and depressing and that nothing much happened. Personally I disagree with that totally. I think it is a very beautiful novel uh, with fantastic descriptions and there are events that take place. It is slow moving but I think that makes it all the more beautiful. Now the story is about a Japanese girl who comes to England for the first time to visit her boyfriend. They'd been together in Japan while he was living overseas uh, for a while. She comes to visit him and he's living back at home on the farm with his family. And the story really just covers her stay with that family, but it goes back into the past a lot. And there's quite a few secrets within the family. We learn about them through the eyes of the Japanese girl. These secrets are, are lying just underneath the surface and it's slightly assumed that everybody in the family knows all about them and it turns out that's perhaps not the case. And then through a series of events of which the Japanese girl is really the catalyst, these secrets get exposed uh, and there are repercussions because of that. Ultimately, without meaning to be or wanting to be, Kumiko, who is the Japanese girl, She's really, she's the, she's the catalyst for change in the family, but also very much for disruption, uh, but very much unintended. The book goes back into the past. We see the lives of the family from about 20 years earlier. And we learn a little bit about what happens to some of those characters. There are other books in, it's not exactly a series, but there are other books that deal with two of the characters in the book in their past lives. Uh, and they're both books I would quite like to read now, having read this one. I particularly love the descriptions in the book of the farmland. It's a very English landscape. Uh, the farm is based, I think, somewhere in East Anglia, somewhere near Norwich. Uh, and there's the descriptions of the farmland and the mist over the fields uh, and I really liked all those and it adds to the whole uh, atmosphere of the book and the secrets themselves being hidden under this layer of mist and then coming to the forefront. The Englishness of the book uh, is really emphasised I think by seeing the setting through the eyes of this Japanese girl uh, it's not a very long book. It was very quick and easy to read. Um, and it's the sort of book that I think I might well reread at some point in the future uh, and take my time over the descriptions uh, even more. I could easily imagine this being turned into a film with some very English actors in it. Her writing does remind me quite a lot of books by John McGregor uh, or Helen Dunmore. So if you happen to like it, either of those two authors, you might well enjoy this book. Uh, and really for anyone, I think it's a lovely book, but don't expect it to have huge amounts of action in it. But things do happen and they makes you think a lot as well. So I hope you might consider reading the book. Thank you.